So I've just started off with the back section here now. We're welding in a support bar to the framework, just like we did on the previous stuff, where the framework's going to come off for the bin lifting gear. Hey, Dave, these COVID masks are coming well. The yeah, COVID masks looking after your face, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Fair play. So, uh, yeah. There we go. So, uh, this is the start of the bin lift. Gary pointed out that it's a bit flimsy there, wasn't it? We had two bins on it with a handle, just to start with, just to see what it was like. And there was a bit of flex in the middle, so what we're gonna do is put another, uh, <coughs> need to order another one of these bearings and locate it in the middle. Reckon that'll do it, don't you guys? Yeah. It's coming together. Yoo-hoo, yoo-hoo. So I wanna put some bump stops on the back of the tailgate there and also this section needs building out slightly more to get the right angle for the bins when they're on the back but it's coming and then i've got all of the tray section to make as well with the tank and the filter and the pump this is never ending mate yep. but how oft how long have i gone on about wanting to do one of these trucks that long that i owned what, well over a year or something? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I bought that stupid, I bought a stupid Tata pickup, which was just completely rotten. No, you have just actually given that. I was actually given it. Well, I kind of bought it after, after the cost of getting it out of there, isn't yeah. it? Time yeah. from Gary and me. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. So guys, I'm not gonna lie. I've been looking into this hydraulic ram and <coughs> excuse me I've mounted the pump there and obviously you've got your switch unit and you've got your ram it's quite a big ram and yeah no word of a lie I could I could get it mounted on there but do you know what I just decided to try it because in all fairness I've really liked the idea of having this and I got it because I really wanted this setup to be hydraulic and then Gary said just try this. So there we go, guys. Got the, yeah, manual lift. I'm, I'm not being funny. The, there is no effort whatsoever on that. Bearing in mind, <coughs> excuse me, I did that, you know, with a phone in my hand and not even the right angle. It's just, there's no effort in it. It's not hard. And what I'm planning to do yet is because there's a little bit of flex in there, we're going to mount a bearing in the middle yet. So when it's got a bearing in the middle, it's going to be even easier again. So, yeah, just, you've got your tube, you've got your, your stub at the end of there, and you've got your length of round bar. Got that. Like I say, absolutely no effort hardly to lift two bins whatsoever. And if I really wanted to, if I wanted them to just fall into place, you do see people with a, uh, a counterbalance weight there. But you know what? It really doesn't need it. it. Really does not need it. All I need to do is obviously sort that out so it's got a bump stop and it's not pushing against the back of the tailgate of the pickup. Because I want that to be a bit nicer than that. I don't want it to rub on the pickup. So I'm probably going to mount a better bump stop. And then I just need a section when the bin's up that just sort of holds them and stops them from falling forward. So yeah, as you can see, it's come along really nice. That is just overkill. For what I'm doing, I'm just not going to need it. So, um, any of you guys building a big commercial bin cleaning system and want a cheap hydraulic 12 volt pump and ram, drop us a comment down below. We can sell you those nice and cheap because I'm not going to need it. We've got Darren in the house today. Oh, Darren, where's Darren going? <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're just on with doing the tray now. Gaz, do you want to do a demonstration of the bin lift? No, Darren can, he's stronger than me. Darren, do you want to do a demonstration yeah, of the bin no. lift? No? Yeah, go on, it. Gaz, go on, Gaz. I'll do it. Because we needed the hydraulics on it because it's so so heavy. Yeah. Well, no, Dean was convinced he was going to have the uh, hydraulic system on it, so I timed him. I said, right, you press go on the hydraulics and let's see how long it takes for it to move and how many times <laughs> I could move yeah. the bin trolley system in it. Oh, well, there we go. That's nice and easy, isn't it? Yo, Dean will still be going up now. <laughs> no, 
That's it. Five or six so yeah, we've done a done a stop on here, so this doesn't end up flying over. Um, just working on aluminium catch tray now for all the rubbish and water, and obviously there'll be a tank under there with a drain somewhere here. We've put a fall on it so that it all falls down that way anyway. So. Cheers for watching, guys. Uh,